Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Is God punishing us with this virus? That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, and donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, if you love us passing the faith to the next generation, look up, boy. Like, the videos, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate. It's right here. And across here, if you're Android, donate today. We need you more than ever. If we're being a gift to you, remember us. Is God punishing us? You've seen it. I've seen it maybe even from Lutherans, makes me sad. We should know better. God is punishing us. This disease, this virus is a call to repentance. It's like Jonah. And the reason why this is a problem, it's not because it's wrong. I mean, you can never argue with someone on that. Um, if you wake up in the morning and you have chest pains, it's a call to repentance from God. If you have bad test results, they tell you it's cancer, it's a call to repentance from God. If, if bad things happen to you, it's a chance to repent. So it's never not a chance to repent. But the problem is, it isn't a helpful word from God for these preachers. It's literally like going to the doctor and telling him that your elbow hurts when you do this and your doctor smiles at you and says, well, then don't do this. We haven't fixed my elbow yet, though. And you don't need a doctorate in theology to look around the universe and say, there's a lot of law. God's judging us. So ignore it. Repent, turn from your sins, but ignore anyone telling you that this is judgment from God. Because let me tell you a different thing. Let me tell you what you really need to hear. What you really need to hear is not that God is judging you. What we really all need to hear is the gospel. We are being pounded by doom and gloom all around us ratcheting up our anxiety. We're looking at one another and we're like, I want you to stay six feet away from me for my good and maybe for your good. Our loved ones, I have parishioners in the hospital who cannot see their loved ones because they're quarantined. Not because they have something, but because they might get something. Folks with dementia who are unable to communicate, there is enough law in this situation already. There is enough judgment in this situation already. So I want you to hear a different message. And that different message is, what a catch. That different message is this. There was one who suffered death for you. There was one who was exiled from his friends. There was one who was truly alone. He was beaten, he was bruised, he was mocked, he was linted for you and for your salvation. There was one who died to save you. And that one, this Jesus, went through your death and he went through your hell and he went through your fear. And he did that death and he did that hell and he did that fear to overcome your death, your hell, your fear, so that you would live forever. I get riled up sometimes, and I, I, I'm not upset with these preachers. I just think that their message is ill-timed. There is enough law in this. What we need is a little gospel. We need a little comfort. We need a little Jesus. Repent of your sins, turn from your anxiety, run from your, your unbelief. 
but that doesn't save you. The place that saves you is the suffering and death of Jesus. Believe this, trust this, and you will be saved from not only viruses, but from death itself. Christ has taken on your death and died. You live in his resurrection. So that whatever happens, if the judgment of God falls on you, you'll be saved. If the anger of Almighty God comes against you, that anger has been satiated by Jesus. I think that's a word. Satisfied. If hell itself comes to your door, it can't get through because the lamb's blood is on your door. Death passes over. Easter will come for you. It will. You will be saved. You will raise from the dead. And when all of this is over, we can look at one another. We can support our churches. We support the preaching of the gospel. We can repent of our bad attendance. All the things that these preachers say is causing God's judgment. But right now, and this time, I need you to hear the gospel. Your worst fears have been answered for. Your pain has been endured by Jesus. You don't have a high priest that doesn't know your, what you're suffering from. You, he does. He did. He died. You live. And you don't just live for a little while. You live forever. And so even if your worst fears come true, it's not going to change Calvary. It's not going to change Easter. The sun is coming out soon. <laughs> Spring is already here. Lent, the fast, is ongoing. But Sunday will come. Easter will come. He took your death. He paid your sin. He rose again. You rose with him. And you will live forever. I'm Pastor George Borkart with the great and mighty... Thor, and this has been another Higher Things video short.